Hi, in this demonstration, we'll talk about the recent enhancements we've made to Go Continuous Delivery and the exciting new feature, the value stream map. So up to the top left, you can see that we're viewing the Go Packages pipeline, and that is highlighted over here. And this corresponds to a label that represents a single instance of that Go Package pipeline. The first two digits are the version and the counter based on the execution of that pipeline. And then the alphanumerics thereafter appended towards the end are the git revision number. So we gather that um, during the check-in. Using the value stream map, we gain a lot of visibility. This represents the end-to-end -end dependency graph across a single instance of the Go Packages pipeline. And if I highlight, you can see everything that is upstream that's actually flowing into the Go Packages pipeline, including materials from the repositories, as well as upstream pipelines that have already executed. So all of this is taken from historical data. And then everything downstream from the Go Packages pipeline, these are all taken from the current configuration. So these things may have occurred or may be occurring or may happen sometime in the future, but this is represented by the current configuration. So it really comes down to having the end-to-end -end visibility and these insights, and really this is what's so exciting about the value stream map functionality in the new Go continuous delivery.